Good morning, Old Blue. Good morning, Messy Shop. Be spending some time in here this weekend getting this all organized, taken care of. But our project for right now, anyways, I'm running over to KK Penner in Blumenort. It's a tire center. These are those new tires I bought, right? Got a few thousand miles on them already. These are my old tires. I'm going to, uh, I have a used tire lined up at KK. They're gonna replace one of these with a used tire and then they're gonna put my other good tire back on beside it so that I can, uh, here. So that I can use this to the end of its lifespan yet. Cause look, there's still a lot of tread on there, right? So I've strapped that to the back of the truck and head over there right now. So this is my tire. And this was the tire that we were hoping would fit and it's not gonna work because this has got quite a bit more tread and it sits about an inch higher than this one. So that wouldn't work having them side by side. And these are the two we wanna take off and save for next fall. Recess is over. So it might be hard to find a used tire with like very similar tread or very similar wear, you know? Might just have to keep those two on the other side there and those two will just be, uh, or maybe I might just have to buy another two for the back. I like to wear them as much as I can, right? Cause this is money right here. This is a year's worth of tread at least. I can at least get to next fall with this. These are a little bit less, but uh, I've rotated them up already. So these will wear down faster when the truck turns. It's a very odd sized tire though. Like I showed you before, they're uh, 295s, eh? 295, 75R, 22 and a half. Which is not a very common tire around here. It might be kind of hard to find a used one. We might just have to run these two drives. You know? And I just have a spare tire, I guess. For the future, just in case. It is what it is then, at least I tried. Just, I like to get the most of everything, you know? Tires are not cheap. Like the tires I put on there, I thought they were around like $600 each. They're gonna be closer to $1,000 each, maybe more. Plus the roadside call, which is probably another $300, $500, who knows? So just those two tires, getting those two tires put on will probably cost me like $2,500. So they weren't cheap. So you, you want to use them right down to the right down to the end. You don't want to change them too soon and waste that money. But at the same time, you don't want to wait too long. You sort of got to find that perfect time when to change them. The drives in the back, they should last, I don't know, depending on a lot of factors, but three years, you know, like, uh, 600,000 kilometers, uh, 500, 600,000 kilometers, so it's like 400,000 miles. That's what we can hope for. I don't know, somewhere in there. But I'd expect my drive tires to last over two years, or three years, I think. You don't really know until you get there. You know, there's so many different factors in how you drive, where you drive, what kind of conditions you drive in, the climate, the temperature, the surroundings are you doing a lot of city driving a lot of highway driving it's just so many different things well if we can't find a tire here he's out looking for one right now at least i can say i tried i'll go back to the shop and get ready for next week's trip found a tire. That's my new tire, or my, my new used, my new to me tire over there.
got all my stuff out of the truck. I will worry about those tires later. I'll find a spot for them somewhere. I've got to rush home though. We have an appointment, uh, three o'clock. You like my new tire, Chevy? It's very nice. Very, very nice. Well, I don't know if it's nice. It'll do the trick anyway. So I just replaced that one drive with that used tire that you saw there. Uh, it has exactly the same tread depth or the tread wear as all my other tires. So it worked out just perfect. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to find one or not. But uh, it's going to be mismatching tires till next fall. It's going to drive me nuts. I was actually going to shove it underneath my uh, half fender so that you wouldn't be able to see it. But I just rotated those tires up to the front from the back not too long ago. And uh, unless if I lock my axles together or lock my diffs, uh, all the power goes to the, the rear axle. So that axle wears out faster. Also, when I turn, it kicks out the rear axle more than it pulls the inside axle. So the rear ones always wear out more. So I wanted the ones with more tread on the back. That's why I had rotated them. So and it is what it is. We'll leave them where they are and uh, they'll all match again eventually. I'll just try to ignore it for now. And I'm sure all of you will be so kind as to remind me every vlog that my tires don't match. So thanks in advance for that. But it's just the one. And so that tire cost me $195, the plus tax, Canadian. About 150 bucks American, get a year out of it. Uh, it's got about a third of its tread left. Uh, a brand new tire, like my brand new ones, those are around a thousand dollars each, give or take. I still haven't gotten my bill because that goes on an account, and then I get the bill the following month. So I'm still waiting to see. But those G182s from Goodyear, from what I've seen online, they go for about a thousand bucks a pop, uh, and that should get me over three years on there so I think I got a pretty good deal on this used tire and it wasn't a recap so we'll see how it does at least I can get my other tires you know, worn down right you don't want to leave like the way I had it there I had to buy those two new tires because you have to have a matching set you can't have just replace one on the set uh, because if I would have just replaced the one tire that had gone flat and left my other old tire right beside it that one bigger tire with more tread would have been carrying all the weight, which would have, under a lot of weight, like a full load. As I'm going down the highway, that means one tire out of the set is carrying all the weight, it's gonna heat up, and chances are it, it could blow. And then you got another flat tire. So they've gotta be matching so that they're both carrying the same amount of weight. Um, otherwise it's kind of pointless having two there. You may as well just be running the one. So that's why I had to replace both, but, then, then you have this problem. When I replaced both on one side, the tires on the other side of the same axle had much less tread. So now if I'm ever in deep snow or something and I need to lock that axle, because I have full locking axles, front and back, plus the, uh, the power divider, right? So if I lock that back axle to get myself out of rut, well now one side of that axle has to turn faster than the other side, because it's got more tread which will eat up my differential which is a very expensive thing to replace my dad just replaced his on his truck and i think that was about eight thousand dollars it definitely wasn't eight hundred dollars i had an eight in it and i don't think it, <laughs> it's about eight thousand it was a lot of money for one diff and you got two of them right and you don't want to break your diff apart because you have uh, mismatching tires when you're trying to get you're already stressing out because you're stuck and then you lock your diff, and then you forget that you have like bigger tires on one side than the other, you get it. It'd uh, be a big mess and cost me a lot more money. So they have to be matching, matching tread depth on both sides of the axle. And that's why you always replace two at a time. We'll see how this goes. I've never done this before. Uh, I've always just replaced all eight at the same time. That's what I prefer to do. And now I have those two, I put them in the shop. I'll buy the same tires to match those next fall. Uh, the Goodyear's G182s, I'll just buy another six of them uh, throughout the next year, and we'll replace them all, then we'll have all matching tires again. And those tires will do really good for the work that I do. 
I'm at home for the next couple of days. And then uh, we have a load lined up. I'm picking it up tomorrow or in tomorrow's vlog. I got to go. It's already in our yard, but I got to go there and tie it down, get it ready to go. And that'll be in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Hit that like button if you like the video. And we'll see you then.